All right, so now we're going to talk about matrices. All right, and matrices is the plural for matrix. All right, so we're going to start by defining, letting you see what a matrix looks like. All right, so we'll start by saying if M and N are positive integers, an M by N matrix is, and we're going to write it down here in just a minute. Now, in general, a matrix is just what's we, what we refer to as a rectangular array of numbers. All right, so I'm just going to show you what uh, what one looks like. This is the general. This is a general two-dimensional matrix. All right, so we start by using these brackets, the straight brackets. All right now, and we're gonna have another one over here in just a few minutes. But we're gonna put a whole bunch of stuff in here. All right, so what we're gonna have inside this matrix, we're gonna have rows. Rows go across this way, right, horizontally, and we're gonna have columns. Columns go vertically. All right, so up here for this m by n. The M is going to be the number of rows we have, while N is going to be the number of columns we have. Right? We'll see some more examples about that in just a few minutes. Right? But we're going to have M rows going down here, and we're going to have N columns. Right? And it's always rows by columns. That's how you read that, kind of like two by four, and you just read that M by N. All right. So this first spot in our matrix. We're going to use the letter A, all right, and I'm going to use a little subscript. And I'm going to put one one down there. Now, what that means is that we're in row one, column one. So A sub one one. I know it looks like eleven, but A sub one one. That's uh, that's just represents the the entry for row one, column one. And then you skip a little space, move over, go to the next column, and you say, all right. This is still row one, but now we're in column two. All right, so there's uh, two columns. We skip a little more space and go to three columns. This will be one, three. And you continue this pattern on out until you get down to n. You know, because you have n columns. All right, and then we can close it off. All right, so that would be the first row of our matrix. And we'll talk about the a's in just a second. All right, so then for the second row, this first spot here would be row two, column one. And then this spot here would be row two, column two, row two, column three, so forth and so on until you get down to A, two, N. All right, can I get the idea? And then we're, here we'd have three, one, three, two, three, three, blah, 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 three, N. All right, so we continue this pattern down until you get down to the last row. And what's the last row? Well, it's M. So row M, column 1. And then we can close it off. And then this spot here would be row M, column 2. And this spot here would be row M, column 3. And you continue that pattern down, and this pattern down. And this last spot would be A, row M, column N. All right. All right, so that looks pretty scary, but uh, uh, what all these A's are, all right, they're, they're called entries. These are all going to be numbers and variables at some point here, but they're all going to be essentially numbers inside here, all right? And we refer to those as entries. So we'd say uh, in which each entry, and all of these things inside here are called entries. All right, a sub one one is is called an entry. A sub two three is called an entry. All your all your numbers or variables that are inside a matrix are just referred to as entries. All right, also referred to as as some um, elements. Maybe we'll throw that in there as well. Also referred to as elements of the matrix is a number. All right, or a variable that represents a number. All right, all right so that's. That's the generic thing. I think it looks pretty scary. Um, so what I want you to get across here is that rows go across, columns go down, and that if you look at a certain spot in a matrix, like say this spot right here where my cursor's at, that this would be row two, column three. And we could, you know, say, all right, that's the spot right there for row two, column three. And right, that's kind of what I need you to see right now. Now here's just some some examples of matrices. Um, or how we're going to see some matrices. You might see something like negative 2, 3, 1, 4, 0, and pi, for example. Right? There's a matrix. 
um, or you might see a one zero one three that would be another matrix so this matrix would have how many rows one two three it have four rows but it only have one column so we would say this we would write it like that way and this one would have two rows with three columns so we'd write it like that way right and we'll talk more about that a little bit later I just wanted you to see that this is the types of things we're gonna we're going to be seeing at some point and uh, it doesn't look as scary when you plug numbers in there. All right, so that's the introduction to matrices, what a matrix is going to look like. Uh, and so now the, the videos that follow will talk about how to use matrices to do all kinds of interesting things. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.